I'm Moldover, and this is the Mojo. The Mojo is a controller I designed for music performance. I'm here to show you how it evolved, how I designed it, and then we'll build one together, piece by piece. The ideas for the Mojo started forming way back when I began performing with off-the-shelf controllers. This is the instrument I used in my first ever internet video. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's a great instrument for keyboard players, or people with eight fingers, but I realized it wasn't quite right for my approach to controllerism. After a while, I realized I wanted something similar, but more flexible, ergonomic, and tactile. I hacked together a few different bits of gear to create the Frank controller. This is a super fun instrument to play, but it didn't stand up well with the punishment of touring. I wanted something truly road-worthy that I could fully express myself on without worrying about it breaking. With the help of some friends from 60 Works Controllers and Visionary Instruments, I created this prototype mojo completely from scratch. I took it out on the road and it kicked ass. People who saw me play started asking where they could get one for themselves. So last year, I decided to refine my design set up shop, and build a batch for other people. That batch is all gone, but we're going to make one more mojo right now so you can build your own. But first, let me show you how I designed it. There are lots of different kinds of sensors out there. The mojo has pretty basic sensors. Faders, knobs, momentary buttons, toggle switches, and touch strips. Even after you decide what kinds of sensors you're going to use, you still have to decide which particular model you want. You can hack sensors out of pre-made controllers, or you can order new ones from electronics catalogs. Most catalogs have literally thousands of different models of switches alone. I narrowed down my choices by looking at the specs online, and then ordering up one of each I thought might be right for me. Here's an example of some of the gaming buttons that are available. I hand tested literally hundreds of different sensors to find the right ones for the Mojo. Try some out and I'm sure you'll find the right ones for you. Brains are little circuit boards that connect all the sensors in your controller to your computer. You can hack one out of an existing controller or you can shop around and buy a do-it-yourself brain like this one. In essence, brains are really simple. You just connect sensors like this switch to inputs on the brain. When you connect the brain to your computer, it shows up just like any controller, and you can play sounds with it. All the sensors and the brain are organized inside a body. You could use an existing body like a lunchbox or a suitcase, or you can build one from scratch. It's useful to use a computer drawing program to play around with different sensor arrangements. If you order sensors from a catalog, they come with a data sheet. Data sheets show precise measurements that you can enter into a drawing to be sure that everything fits. You can print out rough drafts on paper and get a sense for how things will lay out in the real world. When the drawing is finished, you can send it off to a shop with computer-controlled cutting machines and get back a professionally made body. The Mojo has custom parts for the front panel, the rear panel, the enclosure, and the brackets that hold up the touch strips. Before we go any further, let's take a break. An amen break.
Oh yeah! You've seen the evolution, the design, and the building of the Mojo. If you found this video interesting or useful, please pass it on to a friend, and thanks for watching.